Hello and welcome to The Voice of Todd. I'm Tom and in this video we're going to take a look at the news of Zack Snyder's Justice League being released at Sky Cinema and now TV in the UK. But we're here on Tech Radar. Uh, this is uh, just dropped a couple of hours ago by the looks of it. Um, I wasn't planning on doing anything tonight as well. I was hoping to do a live stream. Plans have sort of changed. So you've got this upload. Please enjoy. Uh, but yeah, we're here on Tech Radar. Link in the description below, as always, if you want to check it out yourself. Um, and here we are. Zack Snyder's Justice League will release on Sky Cinema and now TV in the UK. And it's exclusive to Sky. In the UK, at least. Um, this is... We'll get into it. But this is, is... Initially, I see this as quite a bad thing. I can see why. Because they can make loads of money off this, theoretically. Um, but I don't have access to Sky Movies, I don't have access to Now TV, and I don't want to sign up to it. We'll have to see how we, we do this. If we are going to do this on the channel, it, it might put a pin in, in that idea. But let's get into the article. Zack Snyder's Justice League will be available on Sky Cinema and Now TV. At release in the UK, it's been confirmed. The broadcaster has exclusive rights to the film in the UK, Ireland, Germany and Austria. And will release movie day and date as with the US on March the 18th, so very, very soon. The recut four-hour movie, which is releasing on HBO Max in the US, is Snyder's version of the 2017 Justice League as he originally envisioned it. The film features a newly filmed sequence with Jared Leto's Joker, who we have looked at on the channel, and he looks like the Joker should and entirely new effects and music along with other big changes. All in all, the newly cut film cost tens of millions of dollars to finish. Uh, yeah, the original film's like two and a half hours of garbage and this is now four hours from the trailers I've seen. It looks very interesting at the probably the least and it's a chance for Snyder to really put his vision for what he was building up to for the five six years um, up to that point before everything was changed but Sky have confirmed the movie is coming to its service in a blog entry Warner Brothers is committed to releasing Zack Snyder's Justice League internationally as widely as possible and this makes it easy for UK viewers to check the film out well you say that previous Warner movies like Wonder Woman 1984 which I did see in the cinema I'll link my review somewhere probably at the end I did like it for what it was trying to do it does have a lot of problems though Check out the review if you uh, if you feel inclined. And the little things have had belated UK VOD releases, so this will no doubt be of relief to anxious fans worried they might miss out again. But anyway, let's carry on. First big superhero movie of the year. While Zack Snyder's Justice League is not a new film exactly, it kind of is. Much of the footage will never have been seen before. It won't use any of the scenes shot by Joss Whedon, Snyder's replacement on the theatrical cut, and it'll be more than twice as long as the original version. In essence, then this should feel like a new movie. It also beats Marvel to the punch when it comes to release schedule. With Black Widow is next up in May 2021, theoretically, should Disney keep to its current plans. So there we have it. Um, yeah, Justice League. Or Snyder's Justice League coming to Sky Cinema and now TV at launch uh, next week. Uh, I'm I'm torn on this. Uh, I I really want to watch it. I, I do really want to see it on the day it comes out. I'd love to review it for the channel. Let me know what you think. Will you be queuing up to watch this either in America with HBO Max or in the UK and and Germany, Austria and Ireland, wasn't it? The other place. Um, do you really want to see this? Are you excited for this? Yeah, I'm torn. Uh, I think it will be a big improvement and I think that we'll actually get to see the actors caring about what they're doing instead of it being a half-assed half -assed rehash. But I like Snyder's work and he's clearly worked hard to do this and there's so much love behind this film and I love that this is a victory for the fans. So yeah, this is, this is good that it's coming to the UK at the very least. Thank you for watching. See you in the next one.